Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now today I'm going to be repotting my aloe bakery succulent plant into another pot and sharing the repotting with you all. Now this particular aloe is one I've had for a few years and it's one of the lovely sort of thin leaved variety. Lovely sort of a variation on it there lovely variegated patterning lovely thin leaves and this one does tend to go sort of when, we, when it's very sunny it goes quite red as well and then because it's been a bit overcast here the past couple of weeks it sort of greens up again but it's a lovely lovely aloe as you can see there but it, whenever I water it the water just comes straight out so it's good sign that it desperately needs repotting and uh, what I've done here I've made a soil mix up of three equal parts of a loam base soil LOAM in this case I've used John Innes number two mixed with um, equal parts of grit and also horticultural sharp sand I say all three at three equal parts but when it comes to potting aloes as long as you use any type of well draining cactus and succulent mix that works for you that's the best I can recommend it the most important thing is that it, the soil drains freely so when you water it it doesn't stay hanging around wet for long and also that it dries out quick too because aloes are succulents and all succulents do not like to have wet feet for too long now I've already made a video on how to care for aloe including aloe vera and all of the aloe varieties so if you want to know a bit more on how to care for aloe do check out that video i've made i'll put the links up above and i'll also put links down below in the video description i've also made a video on how to grow aloe from seed so if you're interested in ever growing aloe from seed do check that video out as well links will also be up above and also down below in the video description and i've made a video on how to uh how to propagate aloe by cuttings um, it all depends sometimes on the type of aloes but as in this case here many aloes uh, this will just grow 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 and i include in that video how to um, take cuttings as well as sort of how to prune and uh, propagate your aloe plants and as i said the links will also be up above to that video and down below and i've also made a video on how to remove dead leaves from aloes and um, I'll include that video as well down below in the video description and also up above. <laughs> so that's a little bit about the care with aloe. It tells you all there and little tips in that. And this is going to be the repotting. So I've made the soil, got the bigger pot and I've put in um, about three inches at the bottom. And then I'm going to be moving this out of its pot and then putting it into here. So here we go then, guys. I'm going to be squeezing it. I think this is long overdue for a repot and always the best time of year to repot succulents it's always best either in the spring summer or early fall autumn i mean you can repot them in the winter as well a lot of aloes are winter growers some of my aloes grow in the winter and flower in the winter and some of them grow and flower in the summer um, they are from they're south african plants but they seem to have a mind of their own when they really want to grow and flower but I just always prefer to repot spring, summer or, or autumn. And uh, also when I do repot this, I'm going to not water this aloe then for about a week just to allow the roots to acclimatise into the soil. And if I was doing this in the winter, I wouldn't be watering it at all unless it was one of the aloes that was actively growing at that time of year. Oh, it's come out very easy. And uh, this is all the soil I, I used before here. This is perlite and... Um, similar type of soil that i've used this but this time i'm using grit instead of perlite but if you haven't got grit you can use perlite as well i personally sort of don't use perlite as much as i used to because it tends to float to the top of the soil after a bit and um, also it can look a little bit like root mealy bug with its whiteness so it's just not not something i like but sometimes it has its benefits it does the same type of thing as grit and it's much more lightweight than grit and it's also easily a readable to, to buy and also um, far more economical but it's whatever you prefer and just loosening up here the old soil away and it's always good to check the root system out so you check there's no signs of vine weevils mealy bugs and all the rest as you can see here that's just white um, that is the white pearl like this there's no no mealy bug on there but um, sometimes when you get the white the white powder it's mealy bugs so you just have to check but not a problem there that's all the all the perlite and all in there now the roots are if they were very very all wrapped wrapped really tight together i would gently tease them away but in this case i'm going to leave the roots aloes 
a little bit different to other succulents and this is the same as gasterias and hawarthias in that with the roots it's very very common when you repot alice if they haven't been repotted for a long time you'll have a lot of dead black roots and decaying roots i would just cut them off and keep all the fresh roots and then i would if this was like that it's not but if it was i would then leave this um aloe then for a couple of days at certainly a day just to to callus over on the cut roots and then pot it up again in dry soil and i have made a video when i have to cut the roots and explain why i do it um, and i will also link up above to that video on repotting gasteria hawartia and aloes and pruning their roots so if you do repot your aloes then you find they're all black or brown this is quite normal and i will cut it back and i explain all in that video but as a case this case no need to do that with this one also because there's so many aloes they pop out very freely especially aloe vera this is aloe bakeri so it's a different variety but all these are little baby plantlets if i wanted to i could separate all of these pull them out and pot them up individually but because obviously it's easier for space to keep it all together and i like them grouped together like that i'm going to keep it as it is and then here we go just gently placing that in there perfect and now what I'm going to be doing now is just putting all the soil around the edges to fill it up. There. And I'm going to be doing that with all of this all around the edges here. Of course I tap the pot so the soil falls all the way down to the bottom. carry on doing this all the way around the edges and then uh, show you what it's like when it's all done now I've got all the soil all around the edges here and I just want to tap it just to make sure that there's no loose soil hanging about and also it goes down all down to you want it to go down and right down to the bottom of the pot there so that's done and then just gently pressing it down carefully and that's it very easy <laughs> And as I say, do check out the other videos I've mentioned that I'll be linking the links above and also down below in the video description. And I'm not going to be watering this aloe now for about a week. It's summer here at the moment, so no problem with watering. But um, I like to leave it a week just to allow the roots to acclimatise into the new soil. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I want to send you... Oh yeah, if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. And if you want to know a bit more about how to grow cacti and succulents, please check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of succulent plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Bye. Thank you for repotting me. I was desperate.